Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I'm a big fan and a big follower of Dr. Or Motivational Doc on YouTube, and I think his name is Dr. Mandel. Uh, I made a YouTube short on this. I just tried the hot cup, you know, get yourself a mug, get some hot water in it, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, I think it's supposed to be. Um, I don't remember the measurements because that was on his video. Uh, it was cayenne pepper, cinnamon, uh, lemon, and honey. I think that's it. Uh, anyway, so I kept stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. Um, and, he, and in one of his videos, or maybe it was in the same video, it's very early for me. Uh, he said, wait till the honey, until the tea or drink cools before adding your honey so you don't kill the nu nutrients and benefits of honey. Otherwise, it'll be too hot and it won't serve other than sweetness. And uh, let me tell you, I didn't exactly measure. And there was, I, I think it was a bit more cayenne pepper in that drink than I was supposed to have. <laughs> And I didn't really understand. I've used it plenty of times before, sprinkle a little on whatever I'm eating. But what I didn't understand is that if it absorbs the water, that it becomes a little hotter. My face is still a little red. My body is warm. My, oh, yeah. My car's windshield is frozen. And it is 34 degrees out. And yes, I'm wearing a jacket, but I could... It's just because I'm on my way to work. But I could take this off if I want. I am warm. I am comfortable. Uh, I was sweating initially. I couldn't make it to the bottom of the cup where all the sediment was. But uh, it was definitely a new experience for me. I try. I encourage anyone to try something new. Maybe next time I'll be a little more precise with the uh, cayenne and cinnamon uh mixture um but yeah i i if you don't know if you haven't followed a lot of my videos uh i was 320 pounds at one point and i dropped down to 258 i was going to the gym one and two hours a day and i was high on life and one of the things my coach advised me to do is get nine hours of sleep a night. He's like, you go to work full time, you're going to the gym for this amount of time, you're eating healthy, you got to sleep to balance that all out. And the one week, the one week I actually did it, nine hours of sleep every single night. I'm 42 years old, I felt like I was 20 again. And that is that is no bull, there is no... Mm -mm. I felt like I was 20 again. I was, wasn't was falling asleep on my way home from work. I was, I was loving coming home to my kids and loving every minute with my kids. I wasn't, you know, spending five minutes with them out in the street playing with ball or something. And be like, oh, I'm tired. You know. Uh, but it's been a while, and I've put a few pounds back on. So, um following him and uh what's that other guy's name the keto the big keto guy but i kind of take my own twist and my own notes and take everything with a grain of salt and i'm on some medications as well so i try not to load up with chemicals and uh vitamins and pills that i don't really know what's in them i'd rather have nutritional value from a seasoning or honey or or tea or cayenne pepper but you're not alone if you feel alone somebody out there feels just like you i've now i'm not 258 anymore i'm now 275 and uh it was heartbreaking for me jumping back on the scale thinking to myself man these pants feel a little snug maybe they shrunk so I'm getting back on the wagon, yes, right before Thanksgiving, and uh, hopefully it'll all work out, but I wish you all the best, I wish you all a blessed day, I wish you all success and happiness in whatever it is you're pursuing. Have a good one, be safe, happy holidays.